Good morning. It's August 28th, 2021, Saturday morning. Another week has gone by and we are going to be reading the Eagles Gathering Letter. Before we do, I just want to um, have a word of prayer. Many uh, of you watching me not even uh, know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. You may be religious, you may be a church member, that's okay, but Jesus Christ wants you to be a part of him in this day that you live, and to be that part, to surrender to him, and allow the Holy Spirit to lead you through his word and through a prophet, greater prophet than any of the prophets ever uh, vindicated in in the times since the times of Enoch so I pray that God will do something for you as an individual today hearing this video that will change your life now let's have a word of prayer may we bow our heads father now bless in this morning's letter as I read it and may every heart here be circumcised may the ears be circumcised to hear the Word of God and circumcise my lips to speak that which is right may the great powers be brought forth tomorrow afternoon as we hear brother Branham's sermon that we are so anticipating and bring liberation for the people and may everyone that humbly listens, simply in their homes, some for the first time, come with that one single mind. This is my time that I shall be liberated from the cares of life, the lust of the flesh, the pride of life and unbelief. If others are liberated, so can I. And Lord, May they not be silent, but in the city walk the streets and testify this next week, giving praise and glory to God. And may it start even with the merchants and all, Father, until there's such a, a great awakening abroad in the lands where this video goes that they might know that the Spirit of God still has preeminence anywhere. You can pierce into the darkest places and pull those out who are crying for salvation and deliverance. Father, we ask these things in the name above all names, the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. If you're wondering why that we are so happy and so content in these times with wars, rumors of wars, plagues, earthquakes, tidal waves, uh, global warming, food shortages, floods, locusts, and all sorts of political upheavals to where you don't know who's right or who's wrong. Do you know why we're happy? because we have a guide and an absolute. We thank the Lord that he has promised us in Malachi 4, the last chapter of the Old Testament, and the last verses, that he would send Elijah the prophet. And then when he sends a prophet to catch our attention, he identifies himself with that prophet. And he is more identified with that pillar of fire just like with Moses, with Saul on the road to Damascus, any time that God came in that pillar of light, he spoke, he had a voice. And God has a voice today that he has used. William Marion Branham. It's so exciting because we are living in a Bible time now again seeing God's word being manifested before our eyes 
through this messenger, through um, Brother Branham, through his son, Brother Joseph Branham, we are seeing these wonderful things to, that have been spoke of now taking place. How do we know that? It's because we are hearing the tapes that were the stored up food for our day. Now let's get into the letter. God bless you. I'd like to live long enough that I see my little Joseph sitting there, become a minister, take the spirit that I shall leave him. May my spirit come upon him. This is Brother Joseph Branham from the Branham Tabernacle. He says, he starts out saying, Dear Branham Tabernacle, we are so thankful he predestinated us to choose the right church to put our families in. Brother Branham said, if I was choosing a church, I would choose a genuine, fundamental, full gospel Bible church if I was choosing one to put my family in. Brother Joseph continues, we're so thankful we tell the world who our pastor is and that we act just like him. For Brother Branham said, if you'll watch the behavior of that church, you just watch the pastor a while and you usually find that the church acts like the pastor. So we're so thankful it doesn't matter where we are in the world, he meets with us. Brother Branham continues, he promised to meet with wherever two or three are gathered together. Truly, that's where the true believer rests his hopes, is upon that word of God being vindicated in truth. Brother Joseph continues, we're so thankful we believe his prophet and every word spoken. But Brother Branham says, if you believe me to be God's prophet, you listen to what I've told you. Brother Joseph says, what was his prophet to preach? Brother Branham said, a perfect message back to the word. Brother Joseph says, what was he sent for? Brother Branham said, go get that bride. That's a duty. That's what I'm here for. That's what I'm trying to do, is call out a bride. What if we get out of step? Brother Branham says, and that's what I was supposed to do. Keep that bride in step. Now, what does the father have in store for his bride? Brother Branham says, I am going back home, renew my vows again, and start out anew. So that's what we're planning on doing. That's what I'm here for. Brother Joseph continues, Praise the Lord. When do we start our renewing services? Brother Branham says, and then, the Lord willing, next Sunday morning, we'll start the service, and you all help me, and we'll pray, because it was in my heart to try. They said, well, we could go to Louisville, or we could go down to New, in New Albany, but the meeting was supposed to be for Jeffersonville. I'll go to Louisville and New Albany at different times but this is supposed to be here at Jeffersonville. We're ready, Father. Your eagles will be gathering and listening. What's going to take place during this time? Brother Branham says, I need more faith. That's what I'm home for now is to get uh, a new burst of faith. Brother Joseph continues, praise the Lord. That's what we want too, Father. A new burst of faith. We know faith cometh by hearing, hearing your word. And your word comes to the prophet. This message, the power of Almighty God, has spread around the world. But now, the separation time is taking place.
God is calling a bride, and the devil is calling a church. We are part of this message, his word, his bride. We have the assurance and know what we're talking about. We're not ashamed that we believe this message and his messenger, for they are the same. We are not ashamed to say, we believe every word. We're not ashamed to say, we play tapes in our church. We're not ashamed to say, we're tape people. It's hard for us to comprehend that any believer or fivefold minister that claims to believe this message and says that Brother Branham is God's prophet and messenger, then would believe and tell people it is wrong and not according to the word to play the very vindicated voice of God in their church. Brother Branham said, let's be instant in season, out of season, reprove and rebuke and with all long suffering and doctrine for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine but after their own lust shall heap for themselves together teachers having itching ears and will be turned from the truth to fables brother joseph continues when it comes to the genuine unadulterated word of god confirmed by god the vindicated voice of god it seems even to embar uh, it seems to even embarrass the other group they are embarrassed about it and believe it is anti word to be a tape church but to us it's a reality we're not ashamed when we received that revelation, there was something that settled within us. And now there is nothing that can take its place. We are proud to be called one of them, a tape church, a tape group, tape people. We invite you to come listen with the Branham Tabernacle to God's tape ministry Sunday at 2 p.m. Jeffersonville time as we gather with great anticipation renewing our vows again and start out anew by hearing Ashamed 65-0711 Brother Joseph Branham Now for the scripture reading for tomorrow And when he had called the people unto him with his disciples also he said unto them Whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospels, the same shall save it. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. Until next time, God bless you and shalom.